catch it Monday through Friday on FS1. Let's go to the NBA. Over the weekend, Luke Walton called out Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball, saying they needed to play with more passion and fire. Well, last night, those two responded in a win over the Mavs. Ingram led the way with 29 points. Lonzo added 21. And the Lakers ended their three-game losing streak. So, Skip, how impressed were you by those guys last night? Not much. No. What? In fact, as much as I love Lonzo Ball, uh -oh, and I uh -oh. like Brandon Ingram, but I, I love me some Lonzo, as you know. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I found last night at Dallas to be more of an indictment than a breakthrough. And it was an indictment of the pathetic no-show by both Lonzo and Brandon Ingram at Minnesota on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, that was bad. That as was Jenny bad. points out, they got called out by their coach because they should have, and it should have been even harsher than the words he used. I'm sure he used harsher language behind closed doors, but without passion? Yeah. They just didn't... For, for whatever reason, they just decided we don't want to play. Maybe it was too cold outside. They're hey, in the gym. It's, it's right? cold there. Yeah, it gets not cold. In that, not in 72 degrees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What they play? What's the name of the Arabian? Target Center? Target Center. Yeah. Target Center. yeah. yeah. Snow drifts outside. You got to trudge the through inside. it. inside. It's not L.A. I know. It's not L.A. But that came off as AAU baby syndrome. That came off as spoiled brat syndrome where, eh, we just don't feel like playing today. You play every day. Yes. Again, the greatest player ever to me was Michael Jeffrey Jordan. And the one thing I loved the most about Michael and respected the most, trust me, he brought it with all of his guts every single night. It didn't matter how bad the team was they were playing against. He just brought it because that's how you play basketball. Right. That's what you do. You should. That's how you played football. Yes. You just bring it. Nobody has to light a fire yeah. underneath you. So it took that fire to get lit for Lonzo to come out last night. And, and this, this shocked me. Early in that game, if we could see that play again, he just goes right up in DeAndre Jordan's face, and he just faced him. He just slammed it as hard as you can slam it. And I'm like, Lonzo did that? Look at this. That's an angry slam. That's take this, Luke, kind of a slam. Well, why, why did we see that at Minnesota? Yeah. What you mean, so, it just in Minnesota? Or any, for, I, 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 the 35, 40 games. So it took that fire being lit for Lonzo to go 8 of 15 from the floor and 4 of 8 from 3, which is for Lonzo, that is really good. And he throws in seven boards and five assists. And it was a big time game for both of them. And, and obviously, B.I. has 29 oh, you, you, points. You, you ain't gonna make I'm going to get to the okay. free throws. Okay. So he winds up 1 of 4 from the free throw line. But the problem with Lonzo was, and I was watching this game very carefully, late in the game, Luke said, OK, I'm going to let you close this one. But with a uh, minute and 26 left, he gets fouled because I think they wanted to foul him. And he goes to the free throw line. And the first one was way short. And the second one he overcompensated was way long with it. And I'm going to say it again. If you can't make those free throws in that circumstance, A, you can't play. And he got yanked immediately because you know what was about to happen. Yeah. He hack was going to hack Alonzo. And if you can't make – that's one of four from the free throw line last night. Mm -hmm. If you can't do that, then I, I got to say, you can't play in this league, especially as a point guard. You just can't. So you got to fix that. He's fixed his three enough that it's starting to look, yeah, it's yes. serviceable. But the rest of it, and again, uh, his talent is just off the charts. He can, he had two steals last night. He had only two turnovers. He played a big time floor game, mm -hmm. but you got to make some free throws at the end of the game when you got a nine point lead and they're hacking. He, right? he went one for four from the free throw line yep. and his free throw percentage went up. Wow. Skip over his last five games, he's two of 15 from the free throw line. It's just horrendous. That's 13%. Yep. Skip, but they needed this badly mm -hmm. because they had dropped all the way from four to eight. They had. So and if they lose this game now, they're not even in playoff contention. Mm -hmm. I thought they, I, and I still do, they, they, and they got some uh, games coming up, Skip, that they should, should be able win. to win. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what everybody else is saying? Uh, we should be able to beat the Lakers without LeBron. Mm -hmm. Just like you're looking over oh, the Knicks and the Knicks, how you can't lose, you can't lose to the Knicks. No, nope, but they did. But they needed this game. It was a good comeback because they were down at one point by 13. They were. And to go on a nice streak. The, the third quarter, they just blew 30, them off the 32, map. 32-13. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's get up. I don't know what I'm going to get mm. from a night-to-night -night basis. From Lonzo and Brandon Ingram. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm gonna get from Kyle Kuzma. I'm gonna well, get a bunch of shots. Now, last night you got four of 20. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a bunch of shots. Hey, they, they might go in, they might not. But he gonna shoot the ball. Mm -hmm. But it, Lonzo, I don't know, Skip. I might get two points. I might get 15 points. Mm -hmm. I might get 
10 rebounds. I might get one re rebound. You might get a triple-double. I might get a triple-double. Mm -hmm. I might get two or 10 from three. I might get four mm -hmm. or eight. Yep. But I know what I'm always going to get. I'm going to get around 20% from the free throw line. Mm. Now, Brandon Ingram, Skip, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Everybody keep telling me he got next. He on deck. I just don't see. He I had, don't see he had enough next of last night against Luka Don Doncic, where he was he was saying, "Well, okay, watch watch me." Yeah, but yeah. Skip, like you said, the opponent, mm -hmm. where you're playing, when you're playing, or who they have on the other side should not affect how you play. Mm -hmm. You play to a standard. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. We played to a standard. I don't even, who, I'm, who am I going up against when I'm playing the Cowboys and Darren Woodson or I'm going against this guy mm -hmm. or Troy Pott? That had nothing to do with my play. Mm -mm. I'm playing to a standard. I'm representing the Broncos, and I'm representing myself. Mm -hmm. But these guys go out here, well, oh, oh Luca, get, I'm, I'm going to show you I can do I'm better than Luca. Mm -hmm. So what happened when they don't have a Luca Doncic? Mm -hmm. What happened well, when they what don't happened have a What happened was Luke got under their skin, and they said, okay, coach, watch this. He should have put foots well, in him. Does he have to put foots in him every night to get him to, to nah, fly? Nah, not that, no, you can't. Okay, way to go. The Lakers, two and five without LeBron, mm. so he is definitely missed. Iron Man, No, he's not he? playing. What's the problem? In Cleveland, they were 4 and 27 uh, without LeBron. Wait, is he, is he mortal? Is he? But what, I, I don't get this. You never have to say that about Bron, do you? Yeah, I was you gonna bring up you Bronny, have Bronny, yeah. a little bit Bronny. going on with his son, Bronny. He's got a new mixtape, guys. Uh, we're going to show what it name? to you next. Oh.